did you think of it? Did you see it coming? Um, not um, until late in the season. Because the situation is that um, we've had great success. Tony was very successful in what we did. Tony was a <coughs> very stickler for what he wanted to do. He used to work very much on his shape for his team and be very solid, very difficult to, to, to beat. I mean, I first met Tony Pulis when he came as a 16-year-old lad to Bristol Rovers, and I was a player there. So I've known Tony for years. And sort of then when he came to the club, uh, I was already here. Uh, and um, we had some real good performances. Got a situation where we were in the championship then. Then, obviously, uh, as time went by, managed to get into the, into the Premier League, which is a fantastic achievement. And if you look at Tony's record in that space of time, it was fantastic. But the situation arose as that everyone's thinking that the supporters got a little bit anxious and sort of critical of the way that we were playing. And I'm, I've always said that the crowds can actually get the manager of the sack. I must say it was, the, it was just the only thing that got Tony the sack. I can remember when I was a poor bar for 20 years, I was lucky the crowd kept me in a job. But probably three or four times I was a match away from the sack. But the supporters were very good to me in that respect. I think that the, the Stoke supporters got a situation where they got a bit blase in the, in the sort of success we had, and then they wanted something that more. They wanted more attractive football. Tony was very stickler for being very solid, not giving in for the way, playing a little bit direct style, and which served us exceptionally well. If you look at his record, all the time, five years in the Premier League, we went to, we went to Europe, they're in the semi-final of the cup. That was a fantastic uh, day at Wembley. Yeah, the final of the cup as well. Yeah. You know, know, you look at that, and uh, and then you say, well, well, why why did it happen? Why did they why did they sack him? I think that there was a little bit of a talk about sort of whether or not we'd uh, um, spent the money wisely enough in getting the amount of players which were at the club, and that the net spend was. Uh, a lot higher than, than probably a lot of people may have thought. Yeah, so we, we, we finished up the Tony Wonder Brian player, Palacios and, and Crouchian, and uh, that was a, a deal which was, was very expensive. Um, but um, they, were, they were good players. Probably Palacios hasn't done as well as we'd have hoped. Um, but at that time, there's no doubt about it that the five years and the, all the success that Stoke had had. Tony is the main man, all the rest of the us staff just supported him. And sort of, um, so you can attribute that the success really to, down to Tony. And it was a situation where um, it came, I think, at the time, I think that, do they want to change? There may have been some things in, the, in that situation where, okay, we needed to change. There may have been a re need to be a reconstruct some things, which I wouldn't disagree with. But, um, I don't think Tony was going to get the sack at Christmas. I think I think that probably it was one of the last few games in which that uh, that decision was made.